What's going on YouTube? It's Pope Eddie back at you again for another edition of Not Your Average Vape Review. And today I'm going to be reviewing Five Lakes Vapor Juice, Sixes Drops, and the Captain Tank by iJoy. So I guess we'll start out with, I've already vaped a lot of these juices guys. I was sent these months ago. So I'm, I'm basically just getting the review done finally. There's been a lot of stuff going on and here I am back again to do the review. So in this bag is three of what's left of what Five Lakes Vapor sent me guys. Crunch berries, pineapple cream soda, and orange cream. Now I'm not really a fan of orange cream so I didn't really vape a whole lot of this. I'll be quite honest with you. Um, but it does taste like what it's supposed to taste like. It tastes like orange cream. The crunch berries is a super delicious crunch berry juice. Tastes exactly like it's supposed to as well. And then we have pineapple cream soda. Now this is one that I really enjoyed. I vaped almost half of this bottle and it's quite frankly a delicious, delicious juice. Uh, you can check those guys out over at Five Lakes Vapor, V-A-P-O-R dot com. And Jeremy Whitney, the owner, will be happy to take care of you. Up next, James Huser owns a company called Six Drops. And they have quite a few unique flavors one of which I don't have here to show you because every time I get it in, I vape the entire bottle within a few days and I buy 120s. Um, let's start out with the flavor menu first and then we'll move into what my thoughts were on the juices and go from there. So we have Custard Buster, which is rich vanilla custard with creams and a sweet finish. We have Dam, which is fruit ring cereal with creams and just a splash of milk. Knockoff, blue raspberry candy, everyone's favorite blue lollipop without the gum. Light Bulb, raspberry custard with a hint of dragon fruit and marshmallows. That one's really good. The Wife, deep fried vanilla ice cream, a warm cinnamon crust with a creamy vanilla center. I wasn't a huge fan of that one, but it's good. I, I know a lot of other people, this is a huge, huge seller for them, The Wife. Uh, just not really my thing. So, Yo Bam Bam, fruity flake parfait, stone age cereal mixed with tangy Greek yogurt. That's also another really good one. All of his juices are max VG. All of his juices that I've had are great. Uh, there's two more out called Mama Milk, which is a strawberry milkshake. That's one of my favorites. And sadly, the name sucks, but Bust the Nut, a peanut butter dream is all I can describe it as. It is the most phenomenal peanut butter flavor I have had. So check out Six's Drops at sixxxdrops.com and fivelakesvapor.com. And again, I'm trying to do this in one take, guys, so you're getting a real short video versus my normal lengthy one hour long stuff. Um, I'm also going to review today the Captain Tank by iJoy. I got this in my vape box yesterday. I was pretty impressed with the tank itself as far as size. It's around 26 to 27 millimeters and that's without me looking it up. I just know that when a Sherman tank sits on the same mod it comes out a tiny bit further and those are 28 so we're going with our best guess here. Uh, it's got three different kinds of coils. Right now I have the C2 coil in, which is a single hole, I guess, single output coil versus the ones that have four or three. Uh, the drip tips are compatible with some goon, but not all, which doesn't make any sense to me how that works, but it does because I tested it with some with a clone goon, with an authentic goon, and with Sherman, which is the same as goon, but the Sherman didn't fit. Um... If you guys are in the market for a new tank, I'm going to recommend this over a TFV-12. Cloud production is just about the same. The only difference is this isn't a leaky bastard. I literally fell asleep with it on my chest last night like a dumbass because I do that occasionally. And I woke up and I wasn't wet. So that tells me that that's probably not going to leak under most circumstances. Of course, if you leave it in your car, chances are it will leak. Um, but we'll give you a little cloud here to show you what the cloud production is like. And... In my opinion, this is this is definitely better than the TFV-12. Now I'm running this at 70 watts. It says best, best between 60 and 80. Um, I'm running some Nectar NK, NKTR pear juice in here. Uh, I know what the flavor of this is supposed to taste like. I've bought it before. It's a great juice. and. Through here, it's pretty close to where it should be. I mean, it's not like hitting a dripper, of course, but it's not bad at all. So overall, I'd probably give this tank an 8 out of 10. Uh, it needs to hold more juice. 
I, I, it doesn't go through it quickly, it's not a big juice hog, but it needs to hold more juice. And the airflow is a full spin airflow, if you guys know what that means. It doesn't have any little stoppers to keep the airflow from opening and closing. And that also aids some people in opening and closing or, or taking the tank on and off of their mod. Um, those are my only two faults. It needs to hold more juice. Now, I'll be back with another review video probably later this week or next week. And I'm going to run this coil as hard as I can and as long as I can to let you guys know what kind of life we can get out of it as well. She's definitely a cloudy one though, guys. So, Sixes Drops, S-I-X-X-X drops.com, fiveflakesvapor.com, that's V-A-P-O-R, and of course, check out Pope Juice at popejuice.com. Always throw ourselves in the mix, you guys know how that works. If you want to see something reviewed, have the company send me some, I'll be happy to do a review for you, or if it comes in my vape box, in this case, I'll be happy to do a review as well. Um, not real big on spending a ton of money to review stuff. I did a review on Abstract E-Juice the other day. The shit was horrible. I wouldn't buy it even again for a dollar. I, I literally vaped a few hits out of it while I was doing the review, and that was it. Um, so for a dollar, I mean, if you're broke and you need juice, sure. I personally, never again. Um, with that said, guys, I want to thank you for watching Not Your Average Vape Review. You have a wonderful day, and vape on.